hey guys. guys so the goats are gonna be giving birth any day now so there's a few things we have to do to prepare for their births we gotta shave the goats prep the pens and get the supplies let's go all right so we have to get some grain for the goats so that they stand still on the stanchion What are you doing? Just oh mouse, my lord. The mice will eat that. <laughs> Let's fix this. Gnarly coat, Halsey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Her hair. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this right here. She's got some weird hair going on. <laughs> it's even like hard to brush. We like to shave around this area before the goats give birth because it's messy and um, we also, for some of the goats, we like to shave um, around the udder because there's so much hair sometimes down here that the babies get confused and they'll suck on the hair instead of sucking on the teeth. This is exactly why we shave so that it doesn't look like this for a long time after they give birth and dry like that and then I feel like it would hurt for that to be stuck on their hair. This is a very good explanation. All this hair, when the babies are first born, they end up sucking on this hair and it can like they think that this is a teat. As you can see, Meeps is taking forever because she has so much hair. So connected to our normal goat pen is our baby barn. We just finished preparing our baby barn for babies because last night Peach looked like she was going to go into labor. She didn't, but we wanted to prepare because it's not fun doing all this work that we just did for like, what, the last hour or two hours? Probably an hour. Hour and a half. It was not one, just one hour. It's not fun doing that in the middle of the night. So we have two stalls. This is number one and this one over here is number two. We have this little alleyway that connects to the outside, the two pens, and then also to the rest of the goat pen. So once the baby goats are about like a day old, we can start letting them come outside to play. So basically what we like to do before our mom goats give birth, we like to set up a stall. I try to take out as many cobwebs as possible because we don't keep them in here all year round so it obviously gets a little like cobwebby and like stuff like that so what I've done is each pen has a feeder and a water bucket for the mom we make sure to have these things to hang the water bucket with because we want the bucket to be high so that none of the baby goats fall in and drown and then I just have some straw still in its flake so that it doesn't get too gross just sitting out. Like if the goats don't give birth for another week, it will get gross just sitting out. So this is just prepared ready for right when we move the goat in, right when she's about to give birth. And then the second stall is the same thing. We got a feeder, we got a water bucket hanging high, and we have hay ready to be spread out when the baby goats are born. So we always keep 
a supply bucket in the alleyway so it's ready whenever because sometimes you come out and the goat is already giving birth and you're like i need all these supplies and you don't have any so what we keep in here is mainly the essentials so the two most important things in here are the gloves the gloves and then the iodine so the gloves are in case the mom goat is having trouble getting a baby goat out and you have to assist her and the iodine is for after the baby goat is born you want to um dip their umbilical cord so they don't get any infections and then the extra things are kind of just treats for the mom obviously brush you guys if you've watched any of our other videos you know how much the mom goats love to get brushed and then we have nutri drench which is kind of like a treat for them and then also after they are done giving birth we always like to give them some apple cider vinegar but um put it in a bucket with warm water and put a splash of apple cider vinegar in there the mom goats love it and it's a really easy way to help rehydrate a mom goat and help her recover super fast from giving birth and we just like to keep it in a closable waterproof container yeah closable waterproof container and it just sits here and waits till we're ready for baby goats to be born so that's how we prepare for baby goats like i said i think earlier in the video we are expecting baby goats any day now so it was really important that we did this today that's pretty much it for today's vlog if you like this video drop us a like down below leave us a comment as well if you're new subscribe bye, bye guys, guys.